One. How's it going? This is Brandon with Sonic Excess. I'm here with Ronnie Monroe, legendary metal singer from the thrash band Metal Church. How's it going, Ronnie? Going good, man. Thanks for having me. Good, good. Anytime. Thanks for uh, taking the time out to speak with us here for a little bit. Um, now, Metal Church's new album coming out, slated for September 23rd, entitled This Present Wasteland. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Um, yeah, um, basically, uh, I think we went back to basics on this one. A Light in the Dark was a bit more progressive. This one here, I think, is uh, a little more bare bones and to the point. Now, is um, September 23rd the world release date, or do you guys have different dates over in Europe and Australia? Yeah, there's, uh, that's just U.S. for the 23rd and the rest. I believe it's the 28th, possibly over in Germany, and what, uh, there's a few others. Excellent, excellent. Now, for the album cover, um, Metal Church enlisted the help from their fans in creating the art. Can you tell us about a little bit about how that concept came about? Well, we just discussed it, Kurt and I, and um, thought it would be a good idea if we had a contest for the fans uh, to get them involved, and we had a lot of great entries. Very cool, That's very cool. Good design. We think is uh, pretty simplistic and to the point. I like it. Um, now, Jeff Van Zandt joined Metal Church this spring after replacing Jay, and um, you worked with uh, Jeff together in Rottweiler, your previous band. Um, yeah, yeah, that was Rick, Rick Van Zandt. Oh, Rick Van, oh, sorry about that. It's okay, man. Um, yeah, Rot, uh, they brought me in in 2002, and I did Bakken with, uh, with uh, Rick and the boys, and um, Rick also plays guitar for me in my solo band. And uh, when uh, Jay uh, decided to step down, we uh, you know, had a lot of people that could have come in and, and whatnot, but... Uh, Rick just seemed to be the right fit, and he is a great player and a true pro. And we're lucky to have him. Now, is he just the uh, is he just going to be a sessions player for the album, or is he a full fledged member of Metal Church now? No, he is a full fledged member. Excellent, excellent. Now, um, I haven't seen any tour dates in support of uh, the present wasteland. Um, is one in the works right now? What, what is that? Oh, I'm sorry about that. Um, I haven't seen any tour dates in support of this present wasteland. Is one in the works right now? Okay, yeah, there's a few things in the works. Um, like I said earlier, we had to uh, uh, cancel part of a tour that we had set up due to uh, a whole bunch of reasons. But um, anyway, like I said, there is a bunch of things planned, and as soon as we have things in concrete, um, then they'll be released on the MetalChurchMusic.com and Metal Church MySpace. Are you going to be doing a full-fledged world tour in support? Well, um, we're hoping so. We're also hoping to get on to a, uh, you know, maybe as an act, opening act for a major tour. You know, that would be very good for Metal Church. We need to get out there to the masses. Nice. That'd be great to hear NC as well. Um, now, Thrash has exploded yet again with new bands coming up like Toxic Holocaust Municipal Waste. With uh, Metal Church being one of the forefathers of the Thrash movement, what advice would you have for the New Guard when carrying the flag in a battle? And what's your take on the new scene? Well, um, I, I would, the only advice I could give them is just, just keep uh, trying to write good songs, man. Go out there and tour in support of that, bring the music to the, you know, to the fans. As long as you're doing that, you're doing your job. And as far as the new scene goes, well, um, there's not a lot of the bands that I've heard because I'm very old school and whatnot, and I'm you know, pretty busy as well. <laughs> but um, I know there's a lot of great stuff out there, reminiscent of the old days. As well as the, you know, the thrash scene in, in the Bay Area has picked right back up as well. So. Oh yeah, now a lot of the, a lot of these, you know, younger bands are playing tribute to, you know, older bands like Metal Church. You know, where you guys first started the movement. Are you honored by that? Oh, of course, man. And I'm sure Kurt Vanderhoof is, is as well, because, you know, he's uh, the main songwriter, always has been. And, you know, and uh, it pays great homage to people like Kurt and, you know, the rest of the bands that were back in the day. Nice. Now, um, I also recently read that you're a vocal coach. Do you teach mostly falsetto, and how long have you been teaching for? Well, I actually have only done that periodically, and I've mostly helped out beginning students and whatnot. But I've just I've blended it with uh, both the, uh, the people that I took lessons from, and, um, you know, it's basically for beginners, really, to teach them rock voice and breathing techniques. So off and on for about two years now. Nice, nice. Um, any further plans with that, or are you just going to keep it as is for right now, well, going back? After I did it for a little while, I was like, you know, I, maybe I need to just lay off of that a bit and focus more on my career at hand and, and uh, focus more on touring and whatnot, because that's what I do best. I mean, I love to do that, but I just found that uh, maybe I should just hang that up for a while. 
Now, um, now speaking of vocals, I hear a lot of comparison to your vocal style being very similar to that of Iron Maiden's vocalist Bruce Dickinson. Is it difficult being labeled, or is it something that you take with great honor? Well, I, considering that Dio, Halford, and Dickinson were my, my three main influences, I take that as a great honor, because I spent a lot of time in my room, you know, screaming and singing along to those guys. <laughs> Nice. Uh, now, you also got a benefit show coming up. Can you tell us a little about that? Um, yeah, that's the uh, Breakfast Club for Kids thing I'm doing with Rick Van Zandt acoustically in Castro Valley, California, where I live now. And uh, it's uh, basically um, to benefit underprivileged children and their families, to feed them breakfast in the morning, and uh, also help them with tutoring and whatnot. Oh, wow. Cheers to you on that one. Good job. Um, now, do you have anything upcoming with your solo band at this time, or are you just strictly focused on metal charts for the moment? For the moment, um, I, well, of course, number one priority is metal church, but there is uh, the solo thing in the works as well, as, as Kurt has Presco Ballet as his side project. Um, Kurt and I are starting to record that, and, um, you know, that'll be coincide, and I'll get out and do some dates with whenever metal church is not on the road, because as we know, Kurt Vanderhoop and Jeff Plater are both involved, but... Trans-Siberian Orchestra. Nice. Now, is there a possibility that you could open up for Metal Church? Do <laughs> double duties, or is that uh, pushing it a little bit? I don't bit know. You night? never know. That would be fun, actually. <laughs> little strenuous on the pipes, though. What's that? A little strenuous on the pipes, but I'm sure one heck of a good time. Uh, maybe for one show. I'm sorry? Maybe for one show. For one show? Yeah. All right, uh, now what can we expect from uh, Metal Church for the second half of 08? And um, any last words for our listeners and your fans? Well, just thanks for sticking by us. We're very proud of this new release, but we hope you all go out and get it. And um, as soon as, like I said, as soon as we know uh, what we're going to be doing as far as touring in Europe and in the U.S., we'll definitely have it on the MetalChurchMusic.com and on Metal Church MySpace. And just keep the horns up. Nice, all right. I think we're about ready to wrap this up. Is there anything else you want to add? Uh, well, no, just, you know, keep living out there, people, and pick up the new release. Cheers to it. You heard it from the man. Signing off.